Hello YouTube, welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls, some reviews, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. So if that is something that interests you, I certainly hope that you will continue watching and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so that you never ever miss one of my videos. Let me just go on ahead and apologize if you hear any drilling. It's coming from outside. I do not know why they are drilling now. I just don't understand it. But I really want to get this video out. So I hope that it's not too... Ugh, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Let me play it back. Because if you can hear it, then I obviously can't continue with the video. So I played the video back to determine whether or not it's coming up on the video or not. But since it's still happening outside, I can't tell if it's happening outside or if it's happening on the video. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to make it do what it do. Let me get into what today's video is about. I am doing an Amazon haul and try on of some pieces that I picked up from Amazon. You know, it's kind of like people look at Amazon and they're like, oh, you know what? I buy my household products from Amazon. You know what? I buy things from my pool for Amazon, but you know what? A lot of influencers have now been collaborating with Amazon and doing these drops. So I'm thinking that if the influencers can do a drop with Amazon and collaborate with them on that kind of style level, Amazon must have already had some pretty nice clothing and some pretty nice pieces that were available before these collabs started. So I said, you know what, let me go on Amazon, figure out what they have, see if any of it kind of encompasses Mrs. Koi style, see what I can find and see what I can bring to you all here on YouTube. You know what I found to be most surprising about it? The prices. I kind of thought that everything was gonna be super inexpensive because I'm thinking, <laughs> you know what? It's Amazon. This is where I have purchased books from. This is where I have purchased, like I mentioned, detergent for the house, you know, toys for the kids. Like, why would Amazon clothing be expensive? I don't know, but it is. I don't really want to say expensive, but certainly more than what I expected it to cost. So here we are getting into my Amazon haul. I say haul and I'm using the air quotes because I didn't pick up 3 million things, but I definitely styled the items and I hope that you all will like the styling and I hope that you all will like the items. And if I do not mention it all throughout the entire video, please know that I will be linking everything in a description box below for you to follow those links and purchase should you want it. So we're about to get into what I purchased. I got some shoes, I got some clothes, and yes, the person who sprinkles in a little bit of luxury got some bags, not luxury bags, but some really cute bags. So let's get it started. First up is what I am actually wearing. It is this forest green dress with this V-neck detail. It kind of cinches over here on the side. It has three quarter length sleeves that I just pushed up a little bit more and it kind of like uh, skims my hips in a nice way and I feel like it's a nice length. And if I'm being very honest, I actually wore this to work today and I received several compliments. So I'm like, yo, Amazon got some bangers just straight out the gate because I was feeling myself in this look. So um, as you're gonna see over here where I'm trying it on, I hadn't actually worn it out into public yet, but I can certainly attest to the fact that I wore this one today and it was and it was and it was kind of a look, you know. I was I, I felt good. Uh, it's always nice to have compliments, so obviously people felt that I looked good to tell me that I looked good. But back to the skirt, right? Um, I don't know how to describe the material, and now since it's on me, I can't see the tag. But it is pretty comfortable. I think that it's a nice length for my frame. I am five feet ten and a half inches. I'm certainly more than that with heels, and um. Yeah, I, I think that it's it's like a perfect dress for work as I wore it to today. It would be like great to wear to church or something like that. It's a it's a nice conservative sort of dress. And um, I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that this particular dress was under $20. So why not just grab it in a few different colors? Like I, I think it's pretty cute. And you're going to see, um, you know, how I styled it also in the cutaways. So I hope that you will enjoy it all. 
Next up, I have these beautiful brown suede shoes that have this block heel. The heel isn't too much of a block, but it is enough of a block that you could walk in them and be very comfortable because they do not have a, a skinny heel. They are in a faux suede material. I think that the material is pretty nice and it has this crisscross kind of detail here in the front. Um, as I said, these shoes are super comfortable. They're by an Amazon brand, um, Allegra K. And what I think is like the absolute best about these particular shoes is that they have this lace up detail. You already know, if you've watched any of my videos before or even my previous video, I talk about this all the time. Anything that draws attention to your ankles or that you can wrap up your leg or do anything like that with or tie, it's just gonna draw so much more interest to your outfit. And I'm all about the, look at me, look at me. Yo, check out my shoes. And these shoes definitely give me that vibe. I really did like styling these shoes up with the dress that I'm wearing. I've also worn these shoes with um, like a high water. Is that what you would call them? Or like a capri length denim. I have worn them with any kind of a cut or skirt or something shorter so that I could show just how far up the leg these laces go because it's all about the laces for me with these shoes. Um, I typically wear between a size 9 and 10 in American uh, styles and shoes and I pick these up in a 9.5 and, and they fit absolutely perfectly. I would highly, highly, highly recommend these and they also come in several other colors. Do you hear the sirens? You hear the sirens. First we had them outside chipping away at the ground for no apparent reason. And now the sirens. I don't know if it's a... I don't know if it's a fire truck, a police car. But why is the emergency happening now when I'm doing my Amazon video? Like, yo, come on. Let's Here I have styled the Amazon dress with the Amazon shoes. I threw on some sunglasses and my Chanel tote for a day of work. I think that this is a really perfect look. I like it. Yo, Amazon. So as I was perusing Amazon, because I knew I wanted to do an Amazon haul and show it to you all, I wasn't, I didn't really know exactly what I was looking for, but I knew that I wanted something that we would all kind of say, really? You got that from Amazon for real? And what I saw was this top. Oh, look at this top. Look at the sleeves. <laughs> look at the look at look at the sleeves. And and the reason why I am like so excited about these sleeves is because my girlfriend Angela Baltimore had right before I purchased this, I think it was the night before, she showed in one of her um Instagram kind of unboxings a top that she purchased from Zara that looked I want to say identical to this, but hers was in a different color. I'm not a big, big color kind of girl, so I got it in white. This is actually a bodysuit. So when you think that it's already dope because of the details of the sleeves, imagine that it's in a bodysuit so you don't have to keep worrying about adjusting. It just stays tucked in. Who doesn't like a bodysuit? Like, it's absolutely perfect. And how cute, no, like seriously, how cute is this top? So I'm thinking the top is bringing so much drama. Let the top do what it do. Let the top shine, right? But I, So I said, let me do something that's a little bit kind of unlike what I usually do. And I went on ahead and I paired that with a pair of jeans. Yeah, guess what? Did you know, am I like, am I like giving information and you all are sitting there like, duh, Kawana, we all know that. Well, if you don't know, or if you didn't know, now you know. Biggie voice. Amazon carries Levi's. Seriously, they carry Levi wedgie fit jeans. Yes, they do. And guess who went on ahead and got them? Well, obviously I did because you see me sitting here with the jeans. So I went on ahead and I picked these up. They do have the distressed hem, which give it, you know, to me, a cooler vibe, like an edge. It doesn't make it just so sleek and picture perfect, but hey, you do what you do. If you want a perfect pair of straight jeans, whether they're boyfriend cut, girlfriend cut, straight cut, whatever, 
you do that and that's perfectly fine and that is completely acceptable and I think that would be good, <clears throat> even great. But for my vibe, I like to just be somewhat edgy and, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> wait, another interruption. Am I coughing because I complained about what was happening outside before? I hope not. Let's get through this. Okay, so I like the idea of, of pairing something very dressy and beautiful and feminine and flirty like this top with something just slightly edgy. I would have actually done this with completely distressed jeans or shorts or something like that just to show the contrast, but I went on ahead and paired it with these. And I and I thought it I I think it's a look. No, I really do think it's a look. Let's check it out a little bit more in uh the cutaways. Here I have paired this perfectly beautiful bodysuit with these Levi wedgie fit jeans. And for a pop of color, I added my green Balenciaga bag and some green shoes. I like it. I then went and paired that same bodysuit with a slip skirt just to show it styled up a little differently. They have several slip skirts in plenty of different colors on you know the Amazon site you know I have to say they actually have everything this one is really really good it has um a lining on the inside and then it has the the lighter overlay right on top and this fit really well I like how it you know skimmed the hips and I went on ahead and I paired that with a pair of sneakers I've also linked some sneakers down below in the description however uh, the ones that I'm wearing I did not purchase from Amazon but you know if you do not already have them, I've said it and I'm going to drill it into the ground. You need to have a pair of white sneakers for your summer wardrobe. Go ahead and add it and why not grab them from Amazon. Okay, like really, it isn't even me, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. But no, but seriously, whenever I carry this particular bag... Whenever I carry it, people are like, oh my goodness, that's so cute. Oh, like, I so love it. I posted on Instagram. Oh, yeah, BTW. Let me give myself a plug. Are you following me on Instagram? Are you following me on Instagram? Are you following me on Instagram? If you're not, please make sure to subscribe as soon as this video is over because that is where... I post my outfits head to toe, my looks, and that is really where I make it do what it do. That's Mrs. Koi style all day, every day. So whenever I wear this bag and I post a picture on Instagram, people are like, oh, your bag is so cute. Oh, that backpack is so amazing. Oh, that backpack is so cute. And you know, there's an assumption that this is a designer bag. And maybe that assumption is because every now and again, I do sprinkle in a little bit. Just one moment, please. So every now and again, I do sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. This is not a luxury bag. It does very much with the, with the quilting style, color contrast, the strap detail, silver on one side, gold on the other side. It very much does resemble a high-end designer. This is not that designer bag. This is an Amazon bag. It comes in several, several different color combinations. I think it's silver. I think they have blue with black. Whatever the colors are, follow the link below and you'll see the link. But this bag is from Amazon. And it's a winner. I'm telling you, if you, if you want something like a good value for the money, it's this bag. If you want something cute, it's this bag. If you want something trendy, it's this bag. This is a great dupe for that designer that shall remain nameless. But I wasn't going to invest in that designer bag because one, it's white, it's a trend, and I just didn't think that I wanted to spend $5,200 or $4,800, whatever the price was. And guess what? Amazon saved me because I spent less than $40 for this bag and got the look for less. Check me out though. 
So here I am carrying the bag as a backpack with this Amazon bodysuit with these billowy sleeves. I've paired it with the slip skirt and a pair of sneakers. I really like this for a casual look just to walk around but look sleek and elevated. I'm definitely feeling this look. I like this a lot. And as you'll see, this bag is quite versatile. It can be carried on your back. It can be a hand carry. You can carry it in the crook of your arm or you can just carry it on your wrist. Very versatile bag. Another pair of shoes. I got another pair of shoes. These are also a summer staple. So I was considering a shoe that is perfect to have for the summer, a shoe trend and something that, you know, that I wanted to show that we could get from Amazon. And <clears throat> with that, <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Excuse me again. What's up? What's up with the interruptions today? Super sorry, but <coughs> excuse me guess who's back back again after my coughing fit i'm back so let me show you all my espadrille wedges espadrilles summer espadrilles espadrilles summer i mean it's summer so yeah i picked up these espadrilles i think that they're about a three inch wedge heel. They're a, a traditional espadrille in terms of the, the raffia over here. They have, no surprise, well, they have a, a, a sling back. So you have like the sling back there in the back. I picked them up in this really cute off-white kind of eggshell color because I, I didn't want stark white. I do the white sneakers. So I just got these in a different color that I thought would match with everything. And then there's the thing, dare I say it? I know you all already saw it. It's got the laces that go up the ankle or up the leg because why? I'm like super obsessed with tying things around my legs and ankles and I just think it gives it such a cute, fun vibe. But then also because it laces up, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> allergy season seems to have me pretty bad. Let's get through this video. Because it laces up the leg, it makes it slightly more adult to me. So, <clears throat> I believe that these were just under $40. They're very comfortable. Um, I picked these up in a size nine. As I mentioned, I wear between a size nine and 10. Um, in a perfect world, I would have purchased them in a nine because they are just slightly too big, but not falling up the foot big. Just, I would have preferred a nine just for them to be um, more snug. And honestly, I don't really gravitate often towards wedge shoes. I prefer to have a heel, but I just thought to myself, how comfortable and how appropriate would that shoe in particular be with like so many different outfits and so i went on ahead and i grabbed them and i picked them up so do you already have your wedges because if you do not i do recommend those and they will be linked in the description box below another amazon purchase and guess what i didn't even realize that this came from amazon because i did purchase this one secondhand from the same girlfriend that i mentioned earlier before Angela Baltimore she had a closet sale an Instagram closet sale something like that it was called and I purchased this from her and it is this clear bag that has a white insert <clears throat> it's clear so you can go on and just throw all of your things in here every um, I have worn this bag before and I put like um a Chanel box or like a Louis Vuitton box or something in it just to give it like a little bit of edge and like you know sprinkle in a little bit of luxury even if it's a box so this this bag can be quite versatile because as i said you can take the white insert out you can just throw all of your things in there where people can just look in and see what you have and that could be fun that could be a game that could even be like a little riddle if you want it to be but i kind of like to keep my things hidden so as i said i'll put like a another bag inside it may say chanel across the front it may say louis vuitton it may just say anything or it may just be a colored bag it could be it could be anything that i'll just throw in here and then put my things into that and so um 
actually I had another Amazon bag that I wanted to share with you all but when I saw that it wasn't linkable I went ahead and grabbed this one and I was able to find it on Amazon so yay we're in luck I think Amazon comes through with the clear bags and another good thing or a point about having a clear bag is it's great to have a clear bag when you're going into um, venues like sporting events when you're going into venues like concerts even when you're going to a club and guess what I can finally say Yes, those things are happening because here in New York, we're going to be back at 100% of opening every store, every arena, everything back at full capacity by the time this video goes up. So yes, those things are happening. Sporting events, concerts, everything is coming back. And then they don't have to ruffle and rummage and go through your bag when you're putting it on a conveyor belt. And they're like, what's in there? You know, when they want to check for weapons or paraphernalia or, you know, like, your booze, whatever it is you're taking in, you put your stuff in your clear bag and guaranteed you're going to get through all those checkpoints so much faster. So I definitely recommend this clear bag and I have linked it below and it does, again, it does have the insert. So this is also another Amazon goodie. Next up, <laughs> I got a romper. Are you thinking that this is a dress? Guess what? It's not a dress. It's a romper. It has this beautiful V-neck here and the polka dots. Like, isn't there just something so classic and beautiful about, about polka dots? And I selected this in this beautiful light blue color. I just thought that it just was so mellow and relaxing and calm. And I looked at the color and I said, that's a vibe, like I like it. And it's just so girly and, do I say it again? I'm a grown lady and I keep talking about, that's cute, isn't this cute? But is it just me or is it kind of nice to look cute sometimes? Like I could do the, the street style. I could do the Jessica Rabbit kind of va va boom style. I can do the classic style, but every now and again, I just want to be cute, how cute is this romper. So let me get into the details of this romper. It has, as I mentioned, the V-neck detail. It has the sheer sleeve so you can see directly through the arm. It, I think, I wanna say it's kind of like a polyester feeling material, but not the one where you would be too, too hot in the summer. It also has that same detail here in the back, but in the front, it is lined so you cannot see anything through it. I'm not gonna say don't wear a bra with it, but I'm going to say, you know what? Wear or don't wear whatever makes you feel comfortable and happy. Mrs. Koi does not go anywhere without one, so I'll be wearing one. But again, it is lined here so that you cannot see anything in the front. It zips in the back for ease of use to get in or out of, so it was very easy to get into. And then it has three layers here on the bottom because as you'll see, it has this, this ruffle detail. So it has a slip all the way down on the bottom and then it's longer here at, at its longest point. And then, the, and then just the shorter ruffle up here on the top. I think that this fits well. I think it's super, super cute. And I purchased this, I wanna say, yep, I purchased it in a size large. I typically would grab a size medium, but because of my height, five, ten and a half, say it with me. My legs are super long and so sometimes I feel like it's a little bit bordering on street walker when my things are too short. So I'll get a large in shorts or rompers or something like that just to ensure that it does cover the bum bum. So that's what I did here. I picked this up in a large. I do like or I did like the way that it fit. And so I like this a lot and it has this this tie waist detail here so that you can go on ahead and cinch it and make that waist even more snatched. So I think that this was about $30, maybe $27.50. I'm not sure of the prices. I know that there are some items here that I shared where I did not mention the price, but it will be reflected and listed down below. This is a complete Amazon look. As you see, I have on the wedges laced up very nicely. I really like the way these look. I have paired it with the romper. This romper is just so cute, but I think that styling it with these wedges elevated it and made it look 
more adult, more like a woman versus a child. And then I have paired it with the clear bag. I did leave the insert in this time. So what do you think of this outfit? Please let me know. That brings us to the end of my Amazon haul and try on. Which of these looks were your favorite? I know you had to have had one. At least one, you had to have had one, right? Which of these items were you most surprised to learn that I picked up from Amazon? Yes, Amazon. And will you be picking up any of these items or have you ever shopped for clothing online? And if so, which of those things were your favorites? Please do not forget to follow me over on Instagram at Mrs. Koi Style so you can see my looks always put together, what I'm wearing, what I'm doing, and how I'm styling it. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs all the way up, comment, and do not forget please to subscribe if you haven't already. And if anything that I'm saying is interesting or if you just find me remotely entertaining or like my style, my vibe, or whatever, please tell someone about my channel. I'm really trying to grow. You can tell a friend, you can tell a cousin, you can tell an associate, you can tell a person at the grocery store, the Uber driver, whomever, just join the community. And lastly, remember that everything that I've shared in today's video and all of my videos is me to a C. Thank you so much for watching.